What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're doing a really cool interview with my man, Lucas. Lucas, how are you? I'm doing just fine, man. How about yourself? I am amazing. I'm excited to talk with you. Um, guys, Lucas is actually Swiss. Uh, he's, he's, I think, the only Swiss person in the program and not in the U.S. Have you, have you ever been in the U.S. or no? Oh, I haven't. I mean, I really want to go to the U.S. Like, uh, I just talked to Kobe the other day and he was like, dude, you have to go like, to Miami. Yeah. To East Coast, West Coast, California. Like, there's so much stuff to do, honestly. Yeah. That's I'll, awesome. I'll probably get to do yes, like maybe later this year or next year. But yeah, we'll see. Cool. So the, the one of the main reasons I'm excited to talk to you in particular is is you're not from the U.S., which is a little bit different than I think most people's perception of of what we do. You know, this industry or this game. Um, mm-hmm. You make good money and you live according to Colby. I don't know a ton yet because I like to save it for these calls. According mm-hmm. to Colby, you live like a pretty cool lifestyle right now, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I would say for the average 21-year-old guy, I, I do live a, a good life. <laughs> That's awesome. So let's let's talk about that. Like what is um what's sort of like what do you do right now? Like what's your your day to day? Like are you traveling? Like what are you doing? So it really depends. Like when I'm at home in Switzerland, I, I just get up like in the morning, I go to the gym in the afternoon, I do some work. Mm-hmm. Um Later on the days, I do have some um, triage calls that I take for the offer because I, I work like in U.S. time. So I start like at 6, at 6 p.m. my time mm. and I end at like 11 or 12. Then I go to sleep and do the same shit, essentially. But um, is it, by the way, okay if I like... Oh, yeah, yeah. Stuff? We say, bro, we say whatever we want on this channel. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Awesome. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, if I'm not it's in Switzerland, I'm traveling like, like right now. I'm, I'm in Copenhagen right now. Um, enjoying life and doing the same things essentially maybe i'm not working out and everything but like in the morning i will discover the city do some cool stuff ride around with bikes and everything and then in in the evening i take some calls for like three four hours something like that and that's about it like pretty awesome yeah (laughs) it is it sounds kind of boring to me to be honest you're you're literally living but bro that's that's most people's dream like you're literally doing something that enables you to make money from anywhere you work in another country, essentially remotely, and you just travel and explore the city during the day. Dude, yeah, and and th- that's the funny thing. Like originally, I didn't even like plan to go to Copenhagen, but um, a friend of mine, he's he's he is in Copenhagen right now. Too. Is that uh, um, Denmark? It is Denmark. Yeah. Denmark. Oh, look at that! Look at that! And it, I think it was like Friday when I saw his Instagram story, and I was like, "Damn, uh, bro, I- I'd love to come to you as, as well." And I mean, then he was like, well, why don't you come? And I'm like, well, I can work whatever I want. So I booked a flight and literally got to Copenhagen yesterday. And here we are. <laughs> that is so cool. Is that, um, is that one of your favorite parts about what you do and, and, and doing sales online? Yeah, it's, 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 re- it's, it's awesome when you can do work in any part of the country and also like smaller things like just being able to go to the gym in the afternoon for example like mm-hmm. normally like when i was studying or when i was working i i could never do that like i would have to go to the gym at like either after the nine to five or like in the evening or something like that yeah now i'm able like on a, let's say i can i can go on a hike for example on a tuesday morning which nobody really can do right if you work yeah. a normal nine to five i mean the only time you really have is the weekend and i don't have that restriction anymore and that is really something that I do value. That's amazing. So what were you doing before sales? You mentioned the nine to five. Did you, did you have a normal job? Do Yeah. So I, I, it is kind of complicated, but um, I was, I was originally like a college student. So I um, mm. studied law and everything, but then I kind of realized, man, fuck that shit. Don't really want to do it anymore. <laughs> Decided to, to, to leave it. And um, then I started working and I always had the making money online mindset. So, I was doing drop shipping, affiliate marketing. Um, what else did I do? Like I, I helped some friends with e-com and stuff. Mm-hmm. And um, it never really worked out for me, unfortunately, because I mean, being a student, you're like not rich in cash, right? So drop yeah, shipping really for someone. In anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it never really worked out. And um, then I transitioned into a nine to five. I worked night shift, which pretty it, it was pretty bad for me like i was working at um i started like 8 p.m and in, in the evening and i worked like until six in the morning oh wow and um yeah it, it had a mental toll on me man that was pretty bad for me and um 
That is when I then decided to join Closer Cartel, like I think July of last year, when, when mm-hmm. you officially launched. Oh, yeah, you and, were one of the first people in, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in the beginning, man, I was I was, I was, was really looking to be like, uh, I wanted to be active. Um, I wanted to do more calls and everything. And I mean, back then, I remember that like I was doing many mockers with him Declan as well I mean he still is like he he, he he has been killing it and um I I was able to by the way is it okay if it's just like digress because you were asking about oh my... no you're good bro this is so I, I like these to be very raw you know like we're we, yeah, don't, yeah. we don't edit we don't cut yeah um because this just... is your like account of everything 100% raw love it so yeah I then um, did like many mock calls I I actually um, made some friends in closer cartel as well actually met one of them um do you, you know, i met max in, in portugal okay and um, i'm pretty good friends with um Ariane and then some other guys from the states um don't need to mention like everyone right now but um yeah shout outs to max <laughs> what's up man <laughs> <laughs> he's been killing it too but yeah um just being able to to practice with people on the same level is it was a game changer for me honestly mm-hmm. because i told you before i was drop shaping and I never had a community. I had nobody who I was able to talk about dropshipping. Like I was the only guy and I didn't have like any type of guidance. I was watching like some do it yourself courses, right? So watch the course and then fuck yourself and do whatever you want to do. Like there's no clear guidance, right? Yeah. But with Closer Cartel, man, like you have the community and that is like the biggest thing I do value. Like being able to practice with people who are on the same path, get feedback. And I mean, those are like my friends now right which is pretty mm-hmm. insane like you meet people online and then you're able to to actually meet up in real life and and and, and do some cool stuff that's so cool and, and that's a big part of of paying for a community is you know mm-hmm. everyone else in the community also paid and if it's an expensive offer or or it's a high barrier to entry you know the people inside are quality because no low quality person is going to go drop a couple grand or whatever to get into a community you know word I mean? yeah which is that's so cool that you you've met up with with people like I know a couple of the stateside guys have, uh, but you guys are like in freaking Portugal and yeah, and, uh, like that's different. That's very different. I mean, there are like some people from Europe, but like the majority is um is from the US, of course. Yeah, and that was like one thing which when I decided to join Closer Cartel, I was like, mm, does this really work here in Switzerland? I think too? you wait. Am I right or wrong? Did you ask like you first joined and then you messaged me and you're like, hey. I don't know if this is for me. Uh, like, can I get a refund? And I told you to basically like stop being a baby and put work no. in. <laughs> that wasn't me, bro. That wasn't me. Oh, no <laughs> way. <confusing> me. <laughs> no, I, 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 I had the call with um, with David, I think, like when I got on Closer Cartel. Yeah. But I, I still had like some limiting beliefs um, because I am from Switzerland. I don't know how the industry is and in, in, in the US is compared to Switzerland and stuff. And are there like even closer positions in Switzerland? Does that even exist? Yeah. Um, I, I then still decided to pull the trigger because I mean, I can still work like for an American offer or like an Australian one, like I'm like I am right now. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, That's I awesome. decided to put it uh, to do it and it, it worked out. man. <laughs> I think it did work out. And, and that's important, too, for people watching this that maybe aren't in the US, like Maybe your country doesn't have as sophisticated of like a market as we have, but you can just work in US hours. Maybe you work a little bit later in the evening, but you're getting paid in dollars, which is probably a lot more than whatever your currency is. You have to work in their hours, which big deal. Uh, it's just a little bit later in the day, but you can still work remote and earn earn dollars, which is a big deal. Because if you're if you spend in like pesos and you earn in dollars, you basically make two times, three times more money. Yeah, which is insane, isn't it? Yeah, like your buying power is, is increased by that much. But let's talk about um, like if you if you can not this the company that you work with, but like what sort of offer are you selling? So I work with a videography coach, and he helps filmmakers get more clients. Um, it's like the same thing as you guys do, like sales coaching, but it's like just for getting more clients as a videographer. Mm. Okay. Um, yeah, that's what I do right now. Oh, that's, that's who awesome. I work with. What's the uh, what's the offer price? Um, as of right now, it is five thousand paid in full or seven k over seven months. Nice, and we can. I mean, you can talk about this if you want. Everyone's different, but what are you pulling in commission wise from that, and how long have you been on on that offer? So I'm pretty fresh to this offer. Um, I actually started it when I was in Madeira traveling as well. 
Um, and um, the I do make 5% commission. So I want to elaborate on this because normally like you expect to make like 10 or 15%. Yeah. But I'm actually not closing yet. Like I know how to close. I could close, but he doesn't want me to close yet because um, he still do, does it himself, but he needs me as a closure in like two weeks. So as of right now, I'm only doing triage calls. We have a two sales call cycle, like just a 15 minute um, discovery call. Mm -hmm. And I only do take these. So I'm talking for 50 minutes and I make like 5% of 5k. Oh, wow. That's, so, I mean, that's that 5% is a lot lower commission, but for 15 mm -hmm. minutes, cause that's like yeah. max. Cause there's no, there's no sale. So it's just like, Oh, Hey, like, is this a good fit for you? Cool. Book a call with our founder. It's, it's so easy. And literally like, you don't need like any experience in sales to do that, to be honest. And I mean, I, I had no sales experience prior to the close of cartel as well. Yeah. And I mean, once I'm able to close for him, like for real, I'll be doing 15%. And I mean, if I am, I, I calculated what I would be doing as a closer. And it is like, depending on my close rate, it would be like between 7.5 up to 12, 50 K essentially. That's awesome. That and he's awesome. closing at 50% right now. So should be able to maybe hit like 40%, 45, something like that. Yeah. No, that's, those are really good numbers, especially mm -hmm. for being out of the U S like I said earlier, like that's a lot of buying power. Like that's essentially well, like 20, 20, 25 K in the U S. Yeah, that is insane. And, and the, the cool thing is like that the, the way I got the offer, I mean, I literally used like your approach, like just Insta DM. Mm -hmm. I followed a bunch of guys. And also I, I choose videography because I've been doing some videography work in the past. So I know, I know the market, I know like the struggles of filmmakers and everything. Mm -hmm. And I, I DM them on Instagram. I like, I replied to one of his stories uh, and then that was like, Hey man, are you looking for a commission based closure or something like that? And then we decided to hop on a zoom call and um, now I'm working for him. Like all it took was like 10 DMs, like 10 messages. That's awesome. So you, yeah. you literally followed like the, uh, the guide in the course on, on how yeah. to outreach to it's, people. It's, it's so simple. It's so simple yet. Um, I feel like most people don't really do it like, or, or like, no, because people, from... people are lazy, but you know, like, yeah. people are inherently lazy. It works. Mm -hmm. Like I did it and I got like multimillionaire verified on Instagram clients. Caden's done it. Like obviously our successful students have done it like you, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it's really, it's really, really simple. And, um, I want to, I want to talk about like something else. Um, yeah. Just quickly, like when I also when I decided to to do sales, I was like, first of all, I was afraid of does it work in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. Second thing is I have an accent. Like obviously you can hear it, right? And I was like, man, am I even able to sell to like American people, to Australian people? Because my English is not like superb, right? No, your and... English is superb, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Thanks. And it has it has got way way better. Like um. I actually do remember, like, um, I, I applied for an appointment or a position for, for a closer cartel. Mm -hmm. That was, like, back in September, and I did a video, and I sent it to you. And if I compare, like, how, was to how I was talking back then compared to yeah. right now, it's, like, a whole different level of uh, awesome. English. Yeah, so, and I mean, that'll help you with literally everything in life, too. Like, everything. Dude, dating, girls, and everything. Like, yeah, I, I used some sales tactics before for that. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I, I always you probably make did that too, comparison. right? <laughs> dating and sales is is literally more similar than it's not. It's the same mm -hmm. thing. It's literally it really the same is. thing. Except you're the offer instead of instead of something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For real. No, it's it's really interesting. That's awesome. What would you say? Like you're you're traveling around, you're literally living like It'll sound fake to some people and we'll, we'll advertise this like, hey, this is what you can do if you're like doing this and people mm -hmm. still won't believe it. But you're traveling around the world. You're into your you're city hopping. You're exploring cities. You're making really good money um, for doing practically nothing, like 15 minute triage calls. You're not even really closing yet, yeah. um, <laughs> which is nuts. What would you say to somebody who's like watching our stuff and they watch YouTube and maybe Twitter and they're like, hey... I know about this closer cartel thing. It's cool. It's probably a scam. Like, like what it, is it real? Is it attainable? Like, what would you say to that person? I mean, I, I was on that other side before because I buy, I bought courses. I got burned before. And honestly, like, just do it. Like there, there's no more, like, it's that simple. Like either remain where you are right now or just pull the trigger and change your life. And I did that decision last year ago and it um it paid off obviously it does require some work like 
don't expect to get into a closer cartel and they will we'll do everything for you, which um, obviously isn't the case. But I mean, if you put in the work um, and I'll be honest, like I didn't even do like that much work. Like <laughs> I would still say, I would still say I was pretty lazy and I'm still like doing cash and I'm traveling the world. Right. Yeah. Um, just do it guys. Like for real, this, this company is fucking awesome. And um, you have like so many people in there, like-minded people you can talk to, you can talk to me. Like, I don't really care. Ask me any questions, whatever. But um, I mean, you just have to do it. It's that simple. I, I don't know what else to say, bro. I agree with you hundred percent. That's, that's what keeps people from from doing what they want to do in life. I, I do feel like those people are like in a pretty comfortable spot, and that's why they don't decide to to pull the trigger. Too like I was in a shitty spot. Like I was working night shift. My body is, hasn't been functioning properly. I had to drink so much coffee and everything, and I I really got fed up with it. Yeah, and that's when I was just like, mm, I I gotta change this. I, I had a similar situation. I, I, most people that are successful have a similar situation. You have to mm-hmm. kind of hit a breaking point. You know, you're like, fuck yeah. it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go do something else, but true. That's awesome. That is, that is so awesome. What, um, <clears throat> well, I don't know if you know a ton about 2.0. Um, I was going to say, what are you excited about for 2.0? If you know, but, but I kind of kept it kind of low key. You, you've been really keeping it on the, on the, on the down low. Um, I mean, it is way, it will be more comprehensive than 1.0, obviously. Um, yeah. And I mean, j- just the, the one doc that I, that I um, read the, the objection handling one, Pretty good stuff. So I'm looking forward to like um, the doctor frame and everything, because I mean, as it is right now, it is good and everything. But um, like yeah, like you said it before, you can always um, be more elaborate, right? Hundred percent. So, I mean, yeah, is is it like another change that's gonna happen? But not only like the course. Are you adding like uh, other things or only? So like, we courses? added. We added. We now have like four live calls per week. Um, mm-hmm. myself, yeah, yeah, I saw that the live call reuse and everything. I, I do watch some of these. These are really, really, really good. Yeah, so that was going to be a part of 2.0, but I was like, fuck it, we'll just roll it out early and and let everybody mm-hmm. like reap the rewards. So the course is the biggest difference. Um, Slack is going to be revamped a little bit, and and just the the amount of sort of one on one like support people have is just going to be increased. Which right now it's pretty insane. Like you can just book a call with Colby. Like, oh, I have a problem. Book a call yeah. with this guy who I pay to strictly solve your problems and tell you what, what you need to do to, to get where you want. So I don't know what else we can add, to be honest, after that. Um, like we honestly, are diverting a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, if you're in, if you're in closer Cattell and you can't succeed with these resources, I'm sorry, you're, you're not going to make it. Like I agree. <laughs> it, it, it's so easy. Like Just do the work and shut up and do what Luke says and you'll do money. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, bro. What um what parting words do you have, if any? Um, it can be it can be about sales, it can be about people on the fence, it can be whatever you want. Um, what do I want to talk about? Yeah, so put yourself out there. What do I mean by that? Um, when I was applying for offers, I I I joined like many many Facebook groups and applied for like everything which seemed like half legit. Because you know, like many offers on Facebook, like some of some, some of them yeah, are shady, yeah. like especially like the the ecom automation ones and uh, Amazon ones. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I I put myself out there. I had many interviews, many said no, of course. But then, like this one interview I had with this guy, I, I won't mention his name, but he was like a recruiter, mm-hmm. and he was looking for salespeople for two guys who are doing um, a coaching type of thing in Switzerland. And I was like, wait, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm Swiss too. And um, I talked to these guys and I, I don't work for them. They declined my, they declined me essentially. Yeah. But uh, I still am in contact with them. And one of these guys just referred me to another position because he has a friend in Switzerland too, who needs a closure now. And this is an offer which I will probably get in, get on in like two or three weeks. Um, they're, they're like selling... How, how should I explain this? They're like, they're helping companies hire people essentially. Mm-hmm. And they have like, they, they, all, they, their offer is like 16K. And nice. if I were able to get like 10%, do that's 1.6K per close, which is, uh, I mean, do the math. Like I, I would be, if I do I one close, if I do one close, I'm making more than my nine to five <laughs> than my previous nine to five, <laughs> which is fucking insane. That is insane. And, and that's all it takes, you know, like, 
I think this would be a good way to wrap this up is it takes just one connection. Yeah. Obviously, you got to do a little bit of outreach, hop on interviews, whatever, but it takes one connection to then give you all these other connections to then you get, let's say you get that closing role and you do really well, but then you're like, oh, I want to go to something bigger. Mm -hmm. Now you have the resume and you have the experience and you have the uh, sort of reputation to then go work for those guys or somebody bigger or somebody bigger and just constantly keep, keep going up, which it starts at the bottom. You just start one time. Mm -hmm. 100%. And also the, the cool thing is like, Previously, I only got like, um, I, I only saw offers for like America, Australia, whatever. But since I, I knew I got to know those two Swiss guys, mm -hmm. I've seen like many offers for like for the German market as well, um, or the Swiss market even. And um, I'm, so what, what I want to say with this is like, this type of closing you guys are doing is applicable in Switzerland, in Germany, Austria, probably like all around the world, to be honest. Mm. Yeah, as long as you speak English, you're, you're pretty good. Yeah. And the accent's not a big deal. Like, not at all. Really, not. not at all. Yeah, they can tell that maybe you're not like um, that. The American is that the American isn't your first. It makes language. you sound smarter though, <laughs> because <laughs> Americans Americans are so dumb. Like you, you hear an American <laughs> accent and you're like, ah, whatever. But you hear you, you hop on a discovery call. Like, hey, like, how are you doing today? Somebody be like, oh, this guy's yeah, smart. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's funny to hear. <laughs> which is which is good. But Lucas, that was that was amazing. I think we'll we'll stop it here so we don't run on for like two hours. Um, sure, yeah. but thank you so much, dude. I'm, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of watching your, your growth. You're one of the first members inside and you're living, you're living the dream life that everybody wants to live. Yeah. I mean, obviously there's some levels to this. Like uh, if I were able to buy my mom a house, like in the next few years, it's like, man, it would be awesome. Do it. You can do it, yeah. bro. hundred percent. Congrats on buying a fucking house for your mom. Like, oh, thank you, bro. That is like such a, it must be like a huge accomplishment. Like I, I remember when you like a year ago, I think when you, when you bought the car for your mom, the, the silver one. Yeah. I mean, and now you have a Corvette and damn, I mean, like what, what, what is the next thing? Like, is there, bro, you I asked, buy, my, like, I asked myself the same thing. I don't know. Um, like I don't want to just start buying material stuff to buy material stuff. Like I'm a big car guy. So I'll always buy nice cars, mm -hmm. but I don't know. I honestly, I think the next thing is, is not spending money and it's saving it. And investing it in uh, crypto and then turning my couple hundred thousand million, whatever it is, into like 10 million. And then I can yeah. start playing the big, big boy game. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you can't, like, there's no point in buying just more stuff, you know, especially like Mark is about to go to shit. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm very confident we're going to crash bad um, within this year. So I'd rather have cash and, and, invest then do that because bear markets are when when real wealth is made true yeah so we will see but guys thank you so much for watching um we gonna start trying to do more of these student interviews it's been like i don't know a month yeah it's been a while since the last one right i think yeah so we'll, we'll, we'll do more but uh thank you so much man we'll end this one right here